with Apple just announced the brand new iPhone 16 and 16 Pro will finally have the release version of iOS 18. One of the biggest updates is definitely the Apple Intelligence, which does a lot of AI stuff. But let's be honest here, we've seen all kinds of AI tricks on other phones like a year ago. For example, the Samsung Galaxy AI and the Google Pixel phones, and people are calling those Gemini phones now. So I mean, is there anything new other than the AI on the iPhones? And the answer turned out to be a yes. And Apple actually hit it pretty deep. Only Apple can do. This hidden feature is called Optic Capture. And it allows you to do high quality 3D scans on your iPhone and iPad Pro models that have LiDAR sensors equipped. In the new iOS 18, Optic Capture has been significantly upgraded with the ability to scan not only objects, but also areas using the new area mode. In this video, you'll learn everything new about the Optic Capture and how it compares with the regular LiDAR scans that are more commonly seen on other 3D scanner apps. Check this out guys, I mean, have you seen anything like this? The UI is just so Apple that it is clean and every inch of it is full of details. But unfortunately, unlike other cool Apple functions which have already been integrated into your iPhone, Object Capture is pretty much only available as an API for developers, meaning you can't really use it unless you download a 3D scanner app on your phone that has Object Capture integrated. And because of that, I'm happy to tell you that Curie Engine will be one of the first to integrate Apple's Object Capture API with the brand new area mode during the after rollout of iOS 18. To find the Object Capture feature in Curie Engine, click on the plus button and open LiDAR scan options. You will see it right there. After you update your system to iOS 18, you'll see a new area mode in Object Capture. The difference between the object mode and the area mode is that the object mode can mask out the background environment around an object, and it will give you a clean 3D model without any noises or surroundings. But the drawback is that it requires to be able to make a complete 360 capture around an object. If you can't 3D circle around it, then you're out of luck with the object mode where sometimes you just want to capture an entire area instead of a single object. So with the new area mode, you have the flexibility to do all of those. Pretty much all you have to do is to walk around the areas that you want to capture, and the point cloud preview on the bottom of the screen acts like a mini-map that shows the places that you have captured. And once you're happy with it, Kiri Engine will process the data locally on your phone, and you will get a 3D model like this. Unlike traditional photogrammetry, which only has a relative scale, the 3D models from area mode and object capture actually contains real-world measurements. So they can be measured for reference on CAD software. Some of you are gonna notice, like, hang on a minute, that looks familiar, right? It looks just like the scene scan with LiDAR. They both work with the LiDAR sensor, they both produce 3D models of an area, and more importantly, they both contain real-world measurements of the 3D model. So what's the difference? The difference is actually the 3D scan quality. The scene scan only uses LiDAR data, so it can generate point cloud really fast. But when it comes to mesh quality, let's just say that the scene scan isn't really designed to produce good mesh quality. But the new area mode is, is another story. It's pretty much a technique that combines photogrammetry and the LiDAR. Photogrammetry can produce great mesh and textures, but it requires a significant amount of computing power to align the photos and it uses some heavy computer vision algorithms to solve the 3D geometry. But now we have LiDAR, we can get the camera data directly from it instead of having to rely on the computer vision purely to align the photos. This will greatly accelerate the speed of processing photogrammetry, and that's how we can bring the photogrammetry locally to your phone without needing servers. But since the area mode does need to take in more data to process, it would take longer time than the scene scan to produce the 3D models. For example, let's scan this area with both methods. The first thing you'll notice is how different the UIs are. The scene scan feels substantially more responsive than the area mode, and you probably need to spend a little more time on the area mode to capture the same area. And the processing time is also much longer with area mode. During my test, it took me anywhere between 3 times to 5 times longer to process than the scene scan. And the final results look like this. The area mode does look much more polished than scene scan, right? And I've done some more scan comparisons, take a look. In our previous carry engine version, the 3D models are saved locally on your phone. 
Um, the good thing about it is that there's no privacy issue and there's no server cost to produce the 3D models. But the bad thing about it is that if you delete the app, the 3D models will also be deleted. And because it didn't go through our server, you don't get the same advanced export options with PBR export and quad mesh topo like other 3D scanning methods in Kiri Engine. Therefore, starting from this version, you'll get the option to upload the object capture models to our server. This will enable you to back up the 3D models so you can access them on Kiri Engine on your web browsers and use the same powerful advanced export features to generate quad mesh and PBR materials, as well as to use the new auto rigging to generate rigs of the 3D models. Um, there's another thing you probably need to know about the area mode in Object Capture. Because it's pretty much just an API provided by Apple, there's really not much we can do to alter it. So predefined by Apple, area mode can only generate 3D models at 25,000 polygons. No more, no less, regardless of how much time and effort you put into making the 3D scan. And that's it. Hope you guys find this video useful and hit the like button if you do, and I'll see you next video.